We stand to sing the offertory, page 192, and to offer our gifts to the Lord. Continue with the prayer of the church. Almighty Lord and Judge of all, do not contend against us, for although your indictment of our sinfulness is true, your Son has suffered our condemnation. Hear him as he pleads for our pardon, and for his sake forgive us our sins, and preserve us as your people. Lord, in your mercy. God of all wisdom, you tell us plainly that the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but it is your power to all who are being saved. Strengthen the faith of pastors and congregations that they would not turn to man-made wisdom, but boldly proclaim Christ and Him crucified. Lord, in your mercy. God of all glory, make us meek before you. Remove our stubborn inclination to follow our sinful desires and strengthen us gladly to submit to your holy will as we await the day of the new heaven and earth. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Heavenly Father, you have given your firstborn for our transgressions. Strengthen all parents and guardians, that the children in their care may be not trained in the transgressions of their forebears, but rejoice in your ways. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. O Lord of Lords, you rescued your people from Egypt and confounded Balak, the king of Moab, for their protection. Guide the decisions and actions of all earthly authority that your people may live in peace and quietness. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. God of all truth, bless those who are reviled and slandered because of Jesus. So strengthen them with grace, provide for all their needs of body and soul, and maintain in them the joy and gladness that in Christ their reward in heaven is great. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Merciful God, you choose what is weak in the world to shame the strong, and you use our infirmities for our good. Hear our prayers on behalf of all who are afflicted. Especially this day we pray for Sarah with her loss of sight and hearing. We pray for those who are struggling against cancer. We pray for Ingrid and her unborn child. And we thank you for keeping us safe through past storms and pray for your protection in days to come. Deliver all according to your will and make use of their trials to increase their confidence in you. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, teach us to hunger for your flesh and thirst for your blood, that by your holy communion we may be cleansed of our sin and equipped to love you above all and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Lord, in your mercy. Lord God, Heavenly Father, receive our thanks for the saints whom you preserved in righteousness and delivered to glory. Purify our hearts by your grace and strengthen us against temptation that we should look joyfully to the day when we will see you in your glory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We continue with the service of the sacrament, page 193. <laughs> the Lord be with you.
it is truly meet, right, and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, for what had been hidden from before the foundation of the world, you have made known to the nations in your Son. In Him, being found in the substance of our mortal nature, you have manifested the fullness of your glory. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, He broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. In the same way also after supper he took the cup, and when he had given thanks he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. 